Hey folks, good to be with you again today. Uh, it's Wednesday morning, and as I say each week, you are halfway there. You've almost made it. Uh, so just hang in there and get through this day, and you're almost to the weekend. All right, we're going to look into the Word again for some more morning minutes from the Word. Now, on Monday, we started a story out of Luke chapter 5, where Jesus has his new teacher on the scene. He really, no one knew who he was or what he was about at this time, but he had still, he had started to gather a crowd. And so Jesus is on the scene and the crowd is starting to press in on him. So he gets into a ship. It's a ship of a fisherman by the name of Simon. Later we know him as Peter, Simon Peter. He gets into the ship and he says, hey, will you launch out into the deep so that I can teach the people? So Simon and his partners had been there on the shore cleaning their nets. They had already fished all night. Nothing happened. They're cleaning their nets. Jesus gets in the ship. They're like, yeah, fine. That's whatever. We'll, we'll launch out. Got nothing else to do. It's not like we got fish to take in. And of course, I'm adding a little bit to the story. So Jesus said, cast out. And it says, the Bible says, when he finished speaking, he, he said unto Peter in verse four of Luke chapter five, launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a drought. Now, Peter said what many times we say when God says do something. He said, Master, we have toiled all the night and have taken nothing. Now, we may not say those words, but what we say is, God, I've tried it. I've tried everything I know how to try. I've done everything I know how to do. I, I, this is my area. This is my expertise. I, and nothing worked. That's usually where we stop. Simon said that, but then he went a little further. You see, he said, this is what we do. We're fishermen. You're, you're a carpenter. We, we've gone all night. We've gone to the, vet, the best spots. Still nothing. But then he said something else, and this is what I want to encourage you to do. Even when you're frustrated, even when you say, God, I've done everything I'm supposed to do. God, I've done everything I know to do. God, I don't think what you're telling me to do is going to make a difference. Peter then said, Simon Peter said at the end of verse 5, nevertheless, we've done everything we know what to do, but hey, there's nothing to lose. At this point, what, what difference could it make? I mean, there's, it can't get any worse than we call it nothing. So sure, even though we've done what we know to do, even though we're the fisherman, you're the carpenter and the teacher, well, nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. That is a beautiful moment of surrender in Simon Peter's life. And, and, and we know Peter. If you know the Bible, you know Peter. And so you know who Peter is going to be. You know he's like number one of the 12 disciples, okay? This is Simon Peter. This is, thou art the Christ, the son of the living God, Peter. The one who said that. So we know Peter. We know what he's going to go on to do. We know he's going to preach at Pentecost and thousands are going to be saved. We know that he's going to go and he'll be martyred for Jesus. But right here, Simon, let down your net. We've already done it. We've done everything we know to do. Nothing happened. Right then, he could have said, forget it, and gone back in, and we'd never heard of Peter again. But instead, he said, I've tried everything I know how to do, but God, and he didn't know him as God at the time, but he said, nevertheless, at thy word, I will. And he let down his net. Today, God may be speaking to you and telling you to do something. Telling you you need to try a different way, go a different direction, do a different thing. And you're saying, but this is what I know. This is what I do. I, I know what I'm doing. I don't need any input, God. I got this. But then you realize, yeah, I mean, I got this. It, it's not actually working out. All right, God. All right, Jesus. I've done everything I can. I don't know if it's going to make a difference, but if that's what you say to do. I'm going to surrender my will to yours, and I'm going to do what you tell me to do. This could be the moment when you go from being just somebody. This could be the moment where you go from being just Simon, some fisher. This could be the moment where God gets a hold of your life and you, your name is written down in the history books of the faith. Hey, you remember when they said yes to Jesus, even when it didn't make sense. And look what he did in their life. Maybe you don't get your name written down in the history books of all of faith, but maybe in your family, your name is written down in the history book of their faith. This is the moment when mom or dad or brother or sister, whoever, this is the moment when they said yes to God, you take control, 
I'm taking my hands off. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will. Let that be your answer today. Even when you don't know where it's going to lead, let that be your answer when God speaks. All right, guys, have a great rest of the day. Come back Friday and we'll see the rest of this story play out. Take care.